This is a classic center hall colonial. When you think about Bethesda, you're probably thinking of a house something like this. Well, it's way different than being so close to the center of the action with Wisconsin Avenue, and this is a totally different vibe. This is the Westgate neighborhood. This is actually where I live, and all of Bethesda is awesome. But obviously, you think this is the best. <laughs> I mean, what am I gonna say? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a lovely right. neighborhood. People who come end up not leaving. We have the small houses, we have the large houses. All of that is right here in this area, and it's beloved. Right. Shall we take a look? I think so. All Have right. fun. All right. This is a classic colonial. How about this awesome window at the end? Uh, what a statement piece. That is a statement piece. I can't wait to see more. How about to the Dining left? Room? Dining room. Really nice, clean lines. How about the ceilings? That is the thinnest of tray, I would say. Right, and I like it. Yeah, I love it. But look out the window at that traditional colonial walled garden. Let's take a closer wow. look. You have this beautiful brick wall. It reminds me of Mount Vernon. It looks exactly like Mount Vernon. <laughs> and the side of this garage looks like you could have a chicken coop. Oh, here we have the kitchen. The kitchen. I'm seeing a little bit of old, a little bit of new. I think these are the original cabinets. They've been painted. New counter. Quartz. Quartz. And I do like the gray backsplash. Look at it. Oh, look at that. The first house had the metal bread storage box. The bread box. This has the cutting board. The old cutting board. Well, some ideas don't go out of style. Oh, useful. Much like this hood, which is original. You know what? I would probably take out this wall. You need to design this room before you start uh, knocking down walls, Tina Louise. Well, I think you, you, you take it out, and then you think about it after. OK. <laughs> well, here's one last thing that I have to mention. What are those holes up in the sockets? I have no idea. I've never seen that before. OK, we'll I will find, find out. out. OK. Let's go and check out this hallway. So is that a half bath? Let's see. Yeah. Oh, OK. Half bath. Uh, you know, that's always great to have on the first floor. Yes. Let's go to the basement. Basement it is. Let's check this out. This oh. is a really nice space. It's nice to have these windows. It really just brightens this space up. And these new laminate floors, mm -hmm. which look dynamite. Well, and you notice they kept everything light. Plus, you have access to that walled garden in the mm -hmm. back and laundry room. Oh, and another bathroom. Oh, it looks like a full bath. It's a full bath. Nice, updated, full mm -hmm. shower. Tina, <gasps> this is like your dream come oh true. Oh, God. This is an original workbench. It is like old school. You know, I could see my hammers, all my woodworking tools. I love that they've kept that detail. Up we go. All right. So, shall we go upstairs? Hey, wait. We have a whole other oh. half of the house to see. I'm ready to go right Let's check this out first. Okay. Ah, uh, the living room. Formal living room. Yes. And I love it just the way it is. And how about this fireplace? Traditional I mantle? Know. But I see it's a two-sided fireplace. Oh, I want to see what's on the other side. Hey, would this have been ah, a sun porch? My favorite room in the house it so far. is dynamite. Oh, this beautiful bay window. Look at it. It overlooks the garden. I think this is the best room in the house. And garage must be over oh, here. But... Oh, it's no garage. Take a look. Oh, oh a screened in porch. Boy, I mean, when you just look at the whole design, look at the ceiling. Well, it's a step-down porch. It really mm -hmm. is a high ceiling. And all this lovely landscaping oh, outside. Oh, I know. OK, shall okay. we go and check out the upstairs? Sounds good. All right. Well, isn't this pretty? This is a great landing. OK, bedroom number one. All right, so great view. It's so verdant outside. Lovely. I love verdant. It is. <laughs> into the oh, okay. next bedroom. You know, I like the twin bed in here. Lots of floor space. And you can use these rooms for what you want. Yeah. What your needs are. What your needs are. <gasps> Look oh. at this tile in this bathroom. The basket weave pattern we've seen before. Yes. But this combination with the green. I'm in love. That's celadine <laughs> green. So that's of the period 30s, 40s, right? Yeah. Yeah, very cool. Oh, and this must be the Obviously primary. Obviously the primary. Oh, obviously. A seating area, plenty of storage. And you have your own ensuite bathroom, mm -hmm. which is so nice. 80s tiles. It wasn't house, the original. But it's nice to have an ensuite. It is. We have one more floor yet. I can't believe there's another floor in this house. Let's go. OK. All right. Oh, 
right, here we are on the third level. On to another full bathroom with this beautiful tile. Very modern, right? And two separate sides. You want to check out that I'll side? Check I'll check out, check out, out this side. I have a really great size room. Great for a teenager guest room. Do you have two great closets? Yes and yes. Two great closets and two great little windows with deep sills. I think okay. my room is better. Of course, your room is better. Yeah, yeah I love that room. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess there's nowhere else to go but up this ladder. And we're not onto going the roof. up that ladder. Okay, then we're going down yeah. and talk to Dana. Dana. <laughs> Hey, Dana. Hi, guys. OK, what did you think of house number two? Well, do you know how many times I talked about this wall garden? <laughs> it is a very unique part of this particular property. I believe the owner actually hand built it. He hand built it. Yes, uh, and it feels, uh, feels very Georgetown-esque or Mount Vernon. <gasps> That's we said what we Mount said. Vernon. <laughs> well, there were so many great things in this house, but one room just really stood out to us. The den with the two-sided fireplace. Yes. Love yes. It. The bay window. And then you stepped out into the screened porch. So by far, that was my favorite. Yes. But I probably would have opened up between the kitchen and the dining room. I agree. It's a classic mm -hmm. layout, which offers a lot of choices. And depending on what you want as a family, they're all in there. So we saw these vents. Basically these? holes. So these houses that are radiant heat don't have duct work, and it's yeah. a way of efficiently and creatively adding central air to older houses. Fantastic. Okay. So we were a little surprised that there was a third floor to this home, because from the outside, it doesn't look like it. I know. It's very rare in this neighborhood, and we like to say that this is more of a remodel rather than a remuddle. They did it well, and it blends perfectly in with the scale and size of the other houses. A remodel and a remodel. We're going to use that one again. Yeah. In summary, five bedrooms, mm -hmm. four and a half baths, spread over 3,300 square feet, built in 1936, detached garage, center hall brick colonial, what do you think? I'm going to come in at 1.45. All right. I am going to add 100,000 to that. I go for 1550. Oh my gosh, you guys are amazing. The list price was 1495. Ah! <laughs> <laughs>